Reggae, reggae really wasn't on my map until I ended up in New York and moved to New York. How did you end up coming to New York? So New York was, um, you know, I graduated college and 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 I really art art kind of started for me there. Soon I kind of realized my dream of playing professional football. It, it might like I wasn't gonna go right to the NFL, you know, and I and I started realizing I don't really even like football, this this sport, you know. So once that was kind of, I realized I had to put put my passion into something and just just started reading and and I moved to New York right away, pretty much, which was, you know, it was like no job, a couple hundred bucks, had a friend that had an apartment, you know what I mean? It was. You know, it's something you would, you you know, you would, you would, you know, looking back, you'd never do again. But just that, that's what made sense to me at the time. Let's go to New York and be a painter. You want to be a painter? Go. That's that's where you're supposed to do it. After fumbling around and not really, and not really working out for me at first. You know, I came to the Big Apple and got the worm, so to speak. I took this New York City teaching fellowship and and got a master's degree in, in urban education from, from Mercy College in the Bronx and, and, and started teaching from a young age, you know, 22. The art style um, that, that you, that, that people know me as, as like Roots, Roots Warho, uh, Mr. Martin, the, the, the style like you see behind me here, that was an evolution through the teaching. So I, I was I was not painting like this in college, and I didn't move to New York painting faces. You know, I was doing like kind of a graffiti flow. I don't know, uh, maybe a Basquiat style or a, you know herring. It was you know it was like artist of New York. I was like gonna be all of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. This style kind of came out of um, just uh, teaching, teaching, wanting to teach kids some more representational stuff. Actually, wanting to be a better art teacher. I was kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm limiting myself. You know, you see like a Ross Daniel Hartman, uh, somebody that, that taught himself how to draw. You know, I kind of I, I kind of wanted to be able to, I, I, I never went to that level of mastery. And even though I, I maybe never can, I hadn't even really made the trod. So part of this was just like, okay, I'm gonna start learning rep, more representational stuff. And so I can kind of hand it down and turnkey it to my students, and you know I, I want them to know a little bit more about you know about everything. And, and th this is actually all this stuff has really helped me as a kind of a foundational art teacher. You know, color theory and really you know light and and, and you know I really I'm I'm almost to the point where you know I'm I'm almost you know kind of totally evolved out of my original style it's still there it's still like a doodle kind of thing for me but if i'm doing professional work i'm kind of focusing my focus has changed over the years to kind of be a little bit more minimal with the materials and just to get to the heart of what i want to do when did the concept come with doing portraits of reggae artists really why it all happened was because the reggae revival kind of happened and all of a sudden there was all these you know I, I had just started painting faces when everybody just started blowing up chronics and kabaka and protege and, and jesse and john nine and like it was like it was like when that explosion happened was like probably you know a couple, you know, within a few months of when I just randomly started painting. So all of a sudden there was just this, this, this like this group of group of people. Like it was, you know, it was just, it was like I would go to work and I would start a painting in the morning. I'd teach a couple classes, start a painting at lunch, start a painting after school, maybe stay a little late. I'd have, I'd have three, three artists painting in a day. Like, you know, it was just, it was just, any artist that, that, that's been through the whole creative process and everything, they know when you first come into something, you come in into it with this whole like burst of creativity, you know what I mean? And, and, and eventually you're honing it all down, you know what I mean? And you're, you're honing it down. But in the beginning, it's just like, it just you like, I think if you're writing, you're just spilling everything out on the page. 